here with Pointer third year head coach Tom Henke, uh, head coach of the softball team here at UW Stevens Point, uh, talking about the 2011 season. Coach, uh, you guys are last year finished your 17th uh, straight season of 20 plus wins. Um, you know, you finished 22 and 18, 4 and 12 in the always difficult WIAC. Um, just talk a little bit about uh, last season and, and how that went. Well, Mitch, I think we took a number of uh, strides forward last season. Uh, we upped our batting average by 38 points. Uh, our run production was better. Uh, we cut down on errors. However, uh, we feel we underachieved in the conference. I know it's a very tough conference. Uh, it's a privilege to coach in that conference. Uh, however, uh, we're still learning how to win in that conference, and we're excited about this year to, uh, to put up better results. Uh -huh. uh talk a little bit about this year. Um, you got some, some decent talent coming back, eight upperclassmen, six seniors in that group. Um, just talk a little bit, let's talk first about pitching, uh, what you got coming back and, and what you have new this year. Well, I'm very excited that we have the entire pitching staff coming back. Uh, we did lose Jess Berger, but she really did not provide any pitching uh, help for us last year. She had the ability to pitch. Uh, so we basically return our complete staff, which is uh, obviously very exciting. Uh, it's a young staff with some seasoned uh, leadership uh, with Elise Nelson uh, as a senior. Uh, and we think we've really strengthened our pitching staff with two uh, strong freshmen this year, Sarah Babbitts and Becca Renneke. Um, Sarah Babbitts uh, got uh, quite a few innings in Michigan, which I know we'll talk about, uh, and uh, she's going to be battling for that top position. So uh, we, we're excited to to be deeper at pitching. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit about hitting. I know uh, you're returning uh, Sarah Butts, who was probably your best hitter last year. Um, just again, talk about what you have coming back there and uh, and what you have coming in. Yeah, Sarah had just an absolutely outstanding year uh, last year. We batted her typically in the leadoff position, and an out outstanding year. Uh, excited to have her back in the lineup. Uh, we've got seven out of our nine position players coming back. Um, Laura, Lauren Watkins had a strong year, uh, Kim Legal had a good year, Elise Nelson, so we're returning the majority of that lineup. It hurts to lose players of Jessica Berger and Melissa uh, Wenig's uh, production numbers that they put up last year, but uh, when you're returning the majority of your position players, um, we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about where those, those players fit in defensively. Uh, I guess first let's start with the infield. Infield, uh, that's uh, where we're uh, losing our biggest uh, holes, as in second and shortstop. This will be the first year, Mitch, that someone other than Jessica Berger and uh, Melissa Wenig are playing shortstop and second. They've been uh, uh, there for two straight years. They've done a, uh, a great job. But we've got some great people ready to uh, take advantage of those openings. So we're going to have someone new at shortstop, someone new at second base. We do return Katie Schulfer at third base, and Lauren Watkins has uh, had the majority of the innings at, at first base. So uh, we'll have a little different look at shortstop and, and second base. Mm -hmm. And how about behind the plate? Behind the plate, uh, we've got uh, a junior in Kelly Arndt that had a lot of the innings last year. She did a nice job back there. Uh, she's been hitting the ball better for us. Uh, she's had some injuries uh, to deal with, but she's back healthy. We're happy to say, uh, going into Florida healthy. Sophomore Kristen Selbach um, did get quite a bit of, ex of experience last year also. We're excited to have her back. And uh, Selena Romanesco, uh, a freshman, uh, has added some depth there at, at the catching position. She's been doing a, a nice job as a freshman. Uh, so we've got a nice, a nice core back there. The outfield, um, we are returning... Um, all of our starters in the outfield. So we're excited about that. Sarah typically plays, Sarah Butts t plays uh, left field, Kim Legal's in center field, and Megan Tracy, who really did uh, um, put up some nice numbers last year at the plate for us, uh, typically anchors right field. Uh, we've got some underclassmen that are nipping at their heels to get some playing time, uh, but it's, uh, it's a good situation returning our outfield. Uh, you mentioned it before. I guess now's a good time to talk about it. Uh, you guys are already four games into the season as we talk right. here. Um, three and one at the Finlandia uh, Dome Tournament up in Michigan. Um, 
what did, what experiences and what did you take away from from that uh, experience at, with your team? Well, Mitch, as you know, it's great to get some games in uh, early in the season and and see what you need to work on, uh, and it's it's a bit of a benchmark. Um, I guess the exciting thing coming out of Michigan is not only were we three and one, but we were three and run three and one, and we didn't play very well. Uh, so I know there's a lot of more upside potential to this team. We hit the ball very well. We hit 360 for the weekend there. Um, however, I know the team is not satisfied for how many runs we gave up and how many errors we made as a team. And we are, we're coming off a, a very good week of practice. We're excited to get down to Florida and clean some of those issues up and uh, get back on uh, on real dirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys get to get down to Florida, play 10 games in six days, yep. uh, actually outside, uh, not just playing, but actually not in a dome or not uh, in the MAC here. Um, just talk a little bit about some of the teams you'll be playing and um, the experience of finally getting outside. Well, we can't wait to get outside. Obviously, this is an outside sport, and to play and practice it inside uh, gets old quickly. Um, so we're very excited about that. Claremont, Florida, this is our second year that we'll be down there. Um, it is the home of uh, Olympic and Hall of Famer Dot Richardson. She puts that uh, invitational on. Great facilities and, and great competition. And, of course, we want to play great competition. Uh, looking at our schedule of uh, the 10 games, uh, we've got a very challenging schedule. Uh, primarily East Coast teams, uh, however, a couple of Illinois teams, um, you know, starting with the third-ranked team in the country, Eastern Connecticut State. Uh, they placed third last year at the World Series in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. They're currently ranked third in the country. We're looking forward to playing that caliber of team. Um, uh, close behind that caliber of team is Benedictine uh, College um, and, and so on. So we've, we've got a lot of good competition down there that uh, we're very excited for. All right. Coach, good luck in Florida, and we'll talk to you guys when you get back. Thanks.